Hi everybody, welcome to another tutorial on Roland Zembeats. Today I would like to show you a little bit more how you can uh, work with uh, instrument tracks. So <clears throat> here we are, loaded uh, a new uh, instance of Roland Zembeats. Let's click on the new song. Let's close the drum editor. <clears throat> Let's um, expand the settings, click on the settings of the track and delete the track. Great, let's also move to the uh, timeline view, clicking on this button. <clears throat> so let's click on the plus here uh, to add a new track and let's select instrument track. As you can see, Zenbeats has opened a Windows. At the moment it's showing us all the plugins. Uh, which are installed on uh, this iPod, as I'm running it from an iPod. As you can see, there is a mixture of internal plugins and also external plugins, like Isim, for example, which is a, a seen by Roland Zembeats as an audio unit. As always, you can search here, you can um, change um, the different plugins which are showed. So, for example, let's see the audio unit <coughs> or the Zembeats. Plugins or also the plugins which have been put in quarantine. Um, so let's stick for now on the Roland plugins. <clears throat> let's click uh, on the electro bass and let's click on the plus sign. Um, <clears throat> so before we go into the details of um, uh, how the electro bass work, let's uh, close this window and um, <clears throat> let's have a look at what has been created. So we have a new instrument track. We are on the timeline view, so we can double click to create the region and we can also align that region to the beginning of the track. Also, while we are here, let's align the looping so that the loops start and end are aligned to the beginning and the end of that region. As always, clicking on this and the little cogs item icon here, you can go into the editor, you can enable disable snap. <clears throat> You can cut, copy, change the color, break lookups if you have extended um, the uh, recording that you have done, depending on the, of course, on the length of the recording. You can split it, you can glue back together. You can also print an automation. If you have an automation um, which has been recorded for that region, you can um, print it to the pattern or also to the track, and you can also delete that particular region. Um, again, as always, you can extend uh, clicking on the right uh, button here on the bottom left to see the settings of that particular track, which we have seen before in other tutorials. Remember, this is a MIDI uh, track, so you can set your MIDI in, out, uh, go into the advanced um, MIDI settings. So you can go into send routing, pre or post audio for mono, as we have seen in other tutorials. So volume, solo. Uh, mute, rec harmful recording, palm filtering as shown as seen in other volumes. And here you can see that the plugins in the electro bass, and we can add also additional effects or also send to another send track. <clears throat> so let's stick to um, to the electro bass. <clears throat> so let so let's click um, on the cog here and let's go inside the editor. <clears throat> this is the um, instrument editor so it works like uh, a piano roll really here you have a keyboard okay you have a grid and uh, you have the usual uh, cursor selection where you can have the selection mode multi delete cut copy and paste paint and split um, then starting from the uh, from the left here on this bar, if we click on that, we can enable disable looping. We can set the grid size, which is important if you want to um, go uh, change the time, the duration of the notes when you are painting. You can change the time signature. Remember, this is depending on the time signature, which has been set when you create a new song. You can play the notes in the editor when you actually painting them. You can show all notes and export it to a MIDI uh, file. Additionally, if we click on the right uh, button here on the bottom left, we expose additional settings. And here we have the ability to, if notes are selected, to move them up and down, uh, left to right, uh, right on the grid, up and down an octave. We can quantize them 
and we can set the start and end we can move them set the velocity and the strength select them all and clear them all so let, let's hide uh, this section so those settings we have just seen are pretty standard as we have seen in other editors in previous videos <clears throat> and of course you can add automation as we have seen in other uh, tutorial for Zenbit. so um, as you can see uh, the type of automation that you can add is more extensive than, for example, in Drum Editor. In this case, you have Pitch Wheel, Mod Wheel, Expression Pedal, Sustain Pedal, After Touch, and, and also you can have specific Electro Bass, in this case, because that is what I selected uh, parameters. In this case, Post Gain, or Parameter 1 to 24, uh, which are relevant to um, the... Um, Plugin selected, parameter 25 to 48, 49 to 52. Uh, I'm not going to go through them all. Uh, they should be self-explanatory, so please do uh, try yourself to add some automation as you record tracks. So for the purpose of, of this tutorial, let's uh, change the cursor to paint and let's paint some notes, like so. Okay, and let's click play. Okay, perfect. So let's select, uh, um, change the cursor to select, click on one note, and as the, just mentioned, you can move it in left and right, up and down, you can change the start and end of the, of the duration for the particular note and so on and so forth. Or as mentioned just a moment ago, if you expand the settings because you have a note selected, you can move it with the arrow. Right, left, up, down. You can select all the notes. For example, it's very useful. Move it up an octave, move them down an octave, which is quite interesting. Okay, let's close um, this button. As always, you can move left and right here, um, up and down, and you can choose to change the zoom in, plus or minus, plus or minus, uh, horizontally as well. <clears throat> okay, now let's close these, um, uh, the editor, and let's double click here, uh, where it says Electro Base, and here we go inside the um, the view of uh, the electro bass uh, instrument. So starting from the left, we have show parameters. If you click on that, it will show you all the parameters, uh, which you can change. So you can just click and move uh, left and right, or touch and hold and move left and right to change the value of that parameter. I actually prefer the standard view. <clears throat> you can port SFZ, um, uh, sounds or files you can delete the instrument or you can also add effects uh, which is quite uh, interesting so you can select clo um, all plugins you can scan for effects uh, risk on them all and also change uh, the settings which uh, will bring you back to the main menu so let's uh, close this window here we are just very quickly you have uh, a first tab a filter and um, you have pitch and modulation up and down. You can set the attack and the release. And then here you have a section for the filter where you can change the frequency and the resonance. And then you can, of course, um, have a different uh, shape as standard for, uh, for, your, for your filter curve. Or you can click and move to change uh, the settings as well, up and down, left and right. You can go to the first LFO. You can change the type of wave. Um, which the LFO will uh, be governed by, uh, the filter, if it affects, for example, the LFO to rate or depth, and if it is synchronized or not with the bit per minute. You can change <clears throat> the rate and depth. You can go to the LFO 2, and you can select, again, the type of wave, um, which will drive the LFO. If you want to impact the volume, the master pan, the pitch modulation, or the filter resonance, and again the synchronization to bits per minute, and here again you can change um, um, on the screen the resonance or also um, the um, the rate. 
And of course you have a section for the effects and if you go on the effects here you can choose between bit crusher, chorus, delay and reverb and then you can set the noise level and um, sorry the noise effect and then you can change the bits, uh, parameters and the rate as well. Here you can select the mix, um, the mixture bit of all the effects between crash, chorus, delay and reverb which can be um, quite handy so for example if we go to LFO 1 wave um, <clears throat> actually yeah uh, let's say that it will affect the filter we change the rate like so let's go back to the filter you can see that the filter now is changing and if we play you can see that you can hear that uh, this has been impacted by the LFO um, here you can enable or disable the electro base. Here you have presets. If you click on that, you can choose some presets, which has been included in the instrument. Um, you can move, select which one you, you you prefer. If you want to hear it straight away, just um, um, bring the own instrument uh, on the screen and just click play. You can move left and right as normal to select a different preset. And you can set the post gain, of course. If we click on the right hand side, here on the um, sorry on the um, button which has the uh, arrow pointed to the right, we reveal of course the usual um, <coughs> parameters for the particular track. So let's hide that. Let's hide the uh, instrument on the screen and let's close um, that editor. In a similar way. Um, if you expand the parameter, we click on the cogs here, let's click change instrument, let's select a different Zenbit plugins, for example, the Electro Composer. As you can see, is very similar as parameters, <coughs> as, as a layout, sorry, from what we've seen from the Electro Base, we filter LF1, 2, and the effects, so that is very similar, similar, so we don't need to go through that, of course, if you choose to show the parameters, the parameters uh, will be uh, uh, different and uh, also the preset will be different. You have different presets which are related, of course, to the Electro Composer. So let's see some of them. Okay, perfect. Um, let's change again the instrument. Let's go to electric guitar. Let's show the parameters. Okay. And let's look at the preset. Again, a little bit less presets, but still quite interesting. Let's again change the instrument. Let's go to Electro Keys. Let's have a look at the presets. It's quite interesting. Some electric piano, some more synths. Again, let's change the instrument. Sorry, I'm discog. And let's go to the electro organ. Let's have a look again at the presets. So some cheese organ, behold organ, transistor, organics. Okay, let's change again the instruments. So let's have a look at the quickly at the electro pulse. I must admit I had a lot of fun with these. Uh, let's have a look. You have a definitely more preset, so enjoy trying some of those. Quite cool. Um, let's have a, a quick look at the Electro Synth. <coughs> As you can see, uh, this has changed. You have also the envelope where you can, ch you can uh, adjust the attack, delay, uh, decay, sustain, and release parameters you have voices here 
you have three voices voice one two and three you can select a different uh, uh, way for each one the octave or semitone or synth by which it will be impacted here you have the mixer uh, use your LFO but um, which is quite cool and of course the prompt is quite different you can select which pitch um, to work with if by sense octave or semitone uh, what type of wave and if it is synchronized with bits per minute so you can do the same on the LFO too and of course to change rate and depth filter uh, as we were talking about a moment before you just have the additional envelope and then the effects as uh, uh, per other instruments or zenbit plugins uh, let's have a look at some of the presets so quite a bit uh, some effects as well something for you to explore and let's click on the cogs again let's change then and then lastly we have the sample words I'm not going through uh, these now I've done already an introduction on uh, the sample verse if you think guys you need uh, a more in-depth uh, tutorial on sample verse uh, just drop me drop me a note and a comment on the video and I will produce one and of course these are the um, Zenbit plugins but if you prefer to use an audio unit like for example ISIM just select audio units and ISIM and click on the plus sign to apply it and here we are you have uh, the um, ISIM from Arturia uh, audio units which has been uh, loaded in and um, Quite interesting you can see the parameters as well for the plugins which is quite cool you can block all row MIDI CC you can enable MPE of course delete the plugin add some effects if, if available you can choose the presets here we go which comes from uh, Arturia really really good <laughs> Post gain and then of course the interface provided by Arturia as an audio unit. Um, okay, perfect. So let's click close the um, uh, that the view of the plugin and also let's close the windows of this uh, to uh, hide the parameters for the particular track. Let's double click. Um, actually. Um, if we enable those again, um, you find that um, under the MIDI section, you can add subtracts, and I have produced a, a video radio already, which shows you how to handle those. But effectively, you click on subtracts, it asks you how many, and then it will add the, the corresponding subtracts. Uh, for this case, for an item under the main one, uh, which it can be quite handy instead of uploading the. ISIM um, f different times, i.e. having different instances of ISIM. So I think that um, that would, that's really, really good. Okay, I hope you enjoyed and uh, you find the tutorial useful and see you next time. Bye.